bottle main being sewn away a little bit by this Darks here as he's in the bottle main. They're going for a little bit of an aggressive move, sending the Juggernaut to the top and trying to go up against the Necrofoss. I'm not sure if this is a good move with the net with the Juggernaut, but I guess the first few levels, the Necrofoss will not really be able to have a good time last hitting. Ace is trying to be very aggressive too, then though he will be hit by Magic Missile. Spin comes out as well. Ace is this maybe a little bit too much? I mean, going going next to the Juggernaut, literally like hucking him, begging him to use the spin on him. He's in the lane, but uh, you know, using iron shells and then your the creeps is already pulled away is always kind of sad. He will use an iron shell. Maybe he can farm this soon enough. He needs the creeps to be able to tank those, so I guess he will wait for now. He does actually iron shell one of the camps in the jungle in in the stack, so Ace will go in and kill that very quickly. Make sure that uh, no no thank you, Doxy. You will not get any farm. And while I was speaking about that, we did see the Noia boy keep this wave again and looks like they want to try and farm this camp. They will be able to do that pretty easily. It's not really any, any sweat farm in that camp. Just a little bit of experience being lost from the side of Cloud9. Noia on the key with the light. He will go in and try and leech a little bit. They go for an Illuminate Blast as well and they will be able to farm a big part of this as Hesteron. He's waiting, but he goes in, he gets that. Okay, he gets his wild axes off. Spin comes out. Looks like Hesteron is going to be in trouble. They go from Illuminate Blast. Doesn't actually hit onto the Jug though, as the Jug will survive. That could. I'm pretty sure that Illuminate Blast would have actually killed him, but you never know what he was going to do. Maybe he was going to go this way, right? So um, it could have happened either way. Alright, well. Rest in peace, Necrofus. That's that's pretty pretty nice, pretty remarkable. That damage though, what a what an annoying lane to be in, right? I mean, you know, sure he's he's managing to survive. He's getting. Better of the worst. Now Shaco is going to be a little bit in trouble. We do have Baby Knight moving in here. He does have a haste on him, so Shaco Surge is not going to be that useful. He's running him down. He's trying to continue on him. They go for the Roar as well. They want to burn this guy down. While Axis comes out, they will be able to get the kill on him. And now the party is going to be in trouble as well. As he will be killed just the same. Baby Knight will get a double kill with that haste room being picked up. The luckiest rune in the universe. You pick up a haste at least. But uh, the keyboard that I was in position, just uh, being a little bit annoying. All right, baby, now in the mid lane, we'll get a kill on Yol's punch. What? Yet, well, there's a hook. There's a creep in front of him, so the hook cannot come out from Yol, and he's not quite level six yet, so he couldn't dive and go for a dismember play instead. He's not going to run down Shaka. Tries to go for a jump on him. He does go for his ultimate as well. We'll slow him. We'll keep him in place. Hook comes out. Maybe he's just asked for a little bit too much. They should be able to get a kill on Shaka. They will get that kill. They will maybe get a double kill. Yol dropping down very, very low. One more hit from Baby now should do the trick, and he will get a double kill. So I guess Ace's life is not going to be wasted. Raids comes out again. Double race as that is going to be a triple ultimate from Baby Knight coming out on Kuman is going to be the next one. One more race is all he needs. One more hit. Oh, Melt is going to block one hit, but no, they get the kill either way as they got Vision. That war being placed by the Ogre gave Vision so he could get that last hit. And now Pudge comes into position. Race comes out number one. Shrine will be used. He goes for a hook, not actually going to be hitting onto anything. This could be a rampage as no, the Ogre match uh, will take the rampage away from him. Drums completed now. Kind of an interesting item, but I guess with the new changes to drums, well, it's a little bit cheaper, plus Helm of the Dominator got nerfed in terms of stats. Then a hero like Necrofus can have a little bit more value from going drums instead. Shadowfiend does have a Dragonlance complete. We do have a spin come out from the Jug, securing a kill on the Beastmaster, but they may pay with a life here as the Fire Blast comes out and looks like, ooh, Fergan will be hit by the race. Nice attempt to hook him. That is a sad, sad life, sad day. Alright, let's see the Ogre Magic is going to be taken down in the mid lane. Cloud9 losing one hero. Blink revealed by the Templar. Yol tries to go for a hook. He does reveal that they have vision there though. That's kind of a, that's kind of a sad thing. You know, you hook, you miss the hook and then you reveal that you have a ward so they will be able to take it away. But the Shadow Fiend is going to be a little bit in trouble. Baby Knight. A little bit too far out of your comfort zone. They will get a kill on the push and the Vengeful Spirit as well. Looks like as Rogue Rodden goes for an ultimate on the jungle. He already used all of his spells. Do they burn him down fast enough? They do indeed. Tower down. 
Meantime, bottom lane, Ogamata gets hooked back, Fire Blast comes out, he tries to run, run himself away in the meantime, the Darkseid is going to try and go after him, he will be, be rolled in the face, Kuman gets slowed, Rai still having a fine time, still able to just walk away, and looks like we'll be fine, they go for a hook, they try to get a catch on that Beastmaster, but the Beastmaster will not be hit by it, he just has those Necro Creeps dropping down and tanking those hooks for him instead, Ogre, does he get to TP out, that is the question, he gets hooked and he will be killed, Yol gets the kill. So, in the end he does die, but they tried their very best to keep him alive. And I guess they're wasting time in the meantime. It's a, it's, it's a lot of heroes committed to kill an Ogre Magi after, after all. And the trade is not really that big. You know, they get a tier 1 tower, which was already very low HP. They might get a kill on the Jockey on the top lane. They're trying to drum him down. They're trying to run him down. One more hit needs to be coming out. And they get the hit. Baby Knight will secure another kill on the Juggernaut. So, speaking of trade-offs, they get a good one. And they get a tower on the top lane as well. That is the last tier 1 tower in the game for the side of Comanche. As a kill on the... Templar Assassin, but he will just be recalled back into where he belongs in the mid lane. And okay, swap comes out, baby not nice man to dodge from him. Will be able to keep himself alive against that vengeful spirit fairy and will be taken down first. Nice vacuum wall, but it's not going to be good enough. The follow-up is not there as the jug will be killed. Not able to get a spin-off in time. All his omni slash. He just gets rebo side and killed. Kuman will be dropped one time. They get a hook off onto the Beastmaster. Maybe able to get that one kill, but at what cost? Let's see the items yet again. Four staff will soon be complete by the cube of the light. The yoga magic does have a medallion up. Beastmaster. Just a, just a neck for three right now. Almost a blink as well. The punch will be jumped on and will be killed. As they found a little initiation. The Shadow Fiend does have a, B, a, a link and shear complete now. Not moving towards a BKB this game as are going to maybe lose someone here, but the Shadow Fiend goes back and forth, goes in in the end. Requiem of Soul comes out. He will take down the darks. It looks like the Ventral Spirit is going to be the next one to drop as the second Requiem will. Okay, the second race came out. They got that kill as well. Oh, Vacuum will stop the TP from happening as Baby Knight. He will have to stay here for a little while longer. But the Vengeful, the Pudge, and the Darkseid got killed by him. They buy back both the Darkseid as well as the Vengeful. They need to try and defend this Heshiron. A little bit low HP. They are moving in on the Keep of the Light. In the meantime, the Ogre Knight is still dead for now. Let's see Shaco. Gets double race again. Taking a lot of damage. Wall comes out trying to keep him alive. We do have Ace going in with that Radiant Spray and doing a lot of damage against them. Baby Knight. It's going to be maybe jumped in the back lines. Oh, they jumped the Necrofossus. He will be killed. Very easy kill when he doesn't have his Ghost Shroud available anymore. So he drops down. The Beastmaster now needs to get himself away. They see him though. They know he's here and they should be able to get this kill easily. Um, no, yeah? Rice is like is like shouting at the top of his lungs right now. He's like, "Don't kill me like this! Why would you kill your friend?" <laughs> but oh well. If they do a lot of physical damage, so why not have a little bit more armor? Now let's see the Ogre Magic. Maybe he'll win trouble. He does try to go for Fire Blast. They do have a hook available in three seconds. He comes in the meantime. Goes for an ultimate onto the punch. The punch will be taken down. Kuman blinks on top of him in the meantime. They go for Sun as well. Kuman will be controlled. Will be hit. Ace goes for Ghost Rider. Will be able to survive up on this high ground in the in the in for the for now. Fervian swaps him up. They will get the kill on Fervian. And Kuman will be taken down on the low ground as well. In the end, that that vacuum ending up stoning him up. Alright, looks like they're brewing up to take a fight here. The Juggernaut will be jumped on by his reward. Maybe a little bit in trouble against what, but he's still going to be taken down as that roar was long enough to burn him down. And so oh, Requiem of Soul comes out from Baby Knight. He tries to burn down Fairy and Fairy is taking a lot of damage here. He he races left, right, and sends on Baby Knight. Doesn't hit too many of them, but it's going to be good enough. They go for Kuma and they get that Reaper Scythe onto him and they will be able to burn him down 120 seconds without the Templar Assassin. They call the GG will play. They know that, well, none of them have buybacks available and the Templar is dead for such a long time that. You might as well call it GG now. That is game one going to the side of Cloud9 as they show up big. They play a little bit of a stranger draft, not having the usual heroes. But, you know, Beastmaster, a hero that History Run brings up to the table once in a while. And Ace with his more aggressive safe lane carries. As this time it was a Necrofuss. And everything went well. Necrofuss was maybe a little bit of a feed train hero in the start. But Baby Knight, he made up for it. He got a lot of kills every single time his teammates fed for him first. They just set up for him to be a glorious fighter and get a lot of kills for himself. So GG, well played. We'll see what happens.